Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, I'm just going to show you a track by St. Vincent today called Cruel. Um, I've actually made a cover of this song which is linked below and it's got all the parts where they crop up. Um, so you can watch that as a bit of a guide um, if you wish. Um, cool, so just in standard tuning for this one, there's a rhythm part that just goes throughout the song and then there's uh, some lead lines that come in over the top. Um, so the, the rhythm for uh, the verse sort of two verse sections in this. Um, so the first one is F sharp major. Um, and for this you can sort of play it up top or as a bar chord uh, down low. Um, and this sort of comes in uh, it's the very very beginning and also a couple of a couple of spots through the verses and also underneath um, the solo um, so this one F sharp major fourth finger fifth string ninth fret then uh, eighth fret fourth string sixth fret third string and seventh fret second string it's basically a C major chord moved up Then we're just going to move that back one fret to get F major. So then we'll have 8, 7, 5, 6. And then move that back one more. So you've got 7, 6, 4, 5. Um, so that's one option. Or you can play it as a bar chord. Uh, F sharp major, F major, E major. So that's just uh, on the low string, 2, then 4-4, four, four, and 3. Move that all back one fret, so you've got 1, 3-3, three, three, 2, and then E major, open, 2-2, two, two, 1. Um, so that's, that's all the verse pretty much, and, um, sorry, the first part of the verse. The second part of the verse is this. So just two, two bar chords, we've got our F sharp major, which we learned before, and B major, which is the same shape, just moved up. So you'll have 7 on the low string, 9, 9, and then 8 on the third string. Um, these are also the chords for the chorus. Um, yeah, so just between F sharp and B. Um, that's all the rhythm except for the bridge, um, and the bridge is this. So pretty much just diatonic chords in F sharp major. So we start out with our F sharp major that we've learned already. Then we've got G sharp minor, which is four on the low string, then six six, and sort of bar your first finger in the fourth fret. So you'll play the um, fourth fret on the third string as well. Then we're going to move that over two frets, A sharp minor. So you'll have six, eight, eight, six with that barred first finger. Then we're going to have B major that we've already learnt. So seven, nine, nine, eight. And then we play E major, which you can play as a first position chord if you want. Or if you want to play this one up top, it's seven and then nine 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 on the fourth third and second strings um, so that's the first run through the bridge then the second run um, pretty much the same chords but we start 
on the second chord that we learnt before, so on the G sharp minor. So it's G sharp minor, then A sharp minor, B major, and this time we've got A C sharp minor. So that's our ninth fret on the lowest string, then you've got 11, 11, and with that barred first finger, 9 on the third string as well. And finish on the E major again. And that's the bridge. Uh, so then we've just got the lead lines that um, occur in the track. So uh, in the chorus, um, you can use either an octave pedal for this if you've got one, or you can play both um, both octaves. Obviously, you'd need two people to do that live if you were to do that. But um, so the low octave for the the chorus melody. Um, so starting on the fourth string, sixth fret, then six to eight, then six on the third string, then eight, six on the fourth string, and then nine on the fifth string. Then you repeat that. Then you go on the fourth string, six, eight, six, then six, six on the fifth string. So the first half of the riff. Then you repeat the first little phrase. And then for the last part of this riff, um, it's which is 6, 8, 6 on the 4th string, then 9, 6, 6 on the 5th string, then 9, 6 again on the 5th string, then on the 6th string, 9, 6, and then 9, 6, 4 on the 6th string. Um, so that's the low version of the octave melody. Um, so the high version is the exact same thing, just up an octave. So starting second string, ninth fret, then 9 to 11, and then 9 on the first string, then 11, 9, second string, then 11 on the third fret. Then you repeat that again. Then second string, 9 to 11. Back to 9. Then on the third string, 8. Two of them. So, so far you've got... Then again, repeat that first little phrase. And then for the last rundown of the octave melody, uh, 9, 11, 9. 11, 8 on the 3rd string, then 11, 8 on the 3rd string again, 11, 8 on the 4th string, um, and then just 11, 8 on the 4th string and finish on 11 on the 5th string. And that's the, the octave melody. That happens in all the choruses. Um, in the first chorus, and then also in some verses and the last chorus, you hear... Um, so this is just in the 11th fret on the 3rd and 4th strings. And then 9, 11 on the second string, and just repeat that. Um, so then um, there's just the solo. Um, 
This one, she either, I think she when she plays it live, she has a pedal that bends the notes um, like down. Um, or if you've got a whammy bar on your guitar, you can use that to affect the notes. Um, I don't have any guitars with a whammy bar. Um, so it's a bit tricky to play this, but you've basically just got to slide into all your notes. Um, so the notes for the chorus, without any sliding or anything, um, is this. Whoops, sorry. So, all on the, the low A string, your sixth string. Um, nine, ninth fret twice. Six, nine. Thirteen, fourteen, thirteen. Then on the eighth fret. So, so far you've got. And then we go 11, 13, 11, seventh fret, seven, six, four, and then move that up to the 16th fret. And in the video, the, the cover I made, if you watch that, um, you can see how I slide into the notes. Um, but that's all the, all the frets that you need to play there. Um, and the last thing uh, to learn is there's just um, a little sort of screechy lead line uh, right in the last chorus. Um, so just 14th fret on the 2nd string and 16th fret on the 3rd string. Bend the, uh, play both but bend the 16th up to the pitch of that 2nd uh, string note that you're holding down. And then whoop, 15th fret on the 3rd string. Um, and then same bend shape, just 11th fret on the 2nd string, and this time bending the 13th fret on the 3rd string up to make, make the same pitch. And so when you're at the top of this, bend the 13th, Bend that back down, and then 11th fret on the 4th string. And you just repeat this um, a couple of times until the very end of the song. Um, but that's all the parts to this song. Um, it's really fun. Hope you enjoyed playing it. Uh, thanks for listening. You can subscribe if you like. If you've got any questions, just let me know below, and I'll try and answer them for you. Um, if not, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks. Cheers.